And the light has come on. Good morning, everybody. It is day 10, and we're at home. Made it back home, safe and sound. I have stuff in my inventory, it seems. Could you guess what that means? With our fancy nail gun, our steel shovel and all of that, our chainsaw and some gasoline. And is that chainsaw even loaded yet? No. <laughs> Ready to go. Mm-hmm. Yes, sure. Mm, I missed that sound. Yeah, there we go. Everything else seems to be loaded. Well, that's quite cool. We need to do a couple of things in the near future. First of all, we need more ammo. There is a horde day coming up, or horde night coming up in four days. That is something to be weary about. I didn't even put the junk turret down. Oh, living dangerously. Um, so we need to go and get more ammo. And we are not yet at a stage where we can actually make ammo. And before I get an auger going, I'm probably not even going to go and mine that much. Can I, can I please? Thank you. Ooh, I even refilled this guy. So what we're going to go and do today is leave this town and have a look at our horde base. Actual base location, I should say. It's not only the horde base, it's our base that incorporates the horde base. It's not going to be under a mountain, not this time. And we still don't have what it takes to get a car. Half of the stuff is still missing. It's a bit of a pity. But yeah, what can you do? So we're going to go out. We're going to follow this road. And I'm actually going to show you. I'm going to travel up this road to this location next to you and Jen and whoever you are. Still don't know. We'll find out. Joel is here. Yeah, we're going to go over here and have a look around. See if we find some resource nodes like coal and iron and lead and nitrate and all the good stuff. Um, we're definitely going to go and run over this guy because roadkill is a thing. See? Told you. <laughs> and then we're going to have a look around. Since building the hot base will take a while, we also need a place to stay and we can't very well travel all the time back and forth. So I'm going to go shut up now, and uh, we're going to travel over there, and then we're going to meet you right back so you don't have to watch me drive all the time. And we have arrived at uh, the junction. And uh, there's already a zombie to greet us. There is a military guy somewhere running around here behind that tree, probably. Uh, killing all the stuff, that's pretty good for us. I'm going to put Junky down here real quick. Reload him first. Boom. I love that sound. It's gorgeous. You, right here. If that guy comes over and wants to say good day or something, we're gonna tell him about social distancing. And if he doesn't agree, then, well, that's just his bad. You know, it's nothing we can do. Let's loot this guy as well. This is already looted. Oh yeah, I passed this by when... Well, I looted this guy when we came back last day from that direction. What about you? You need to be looted. And then you need to go away. There you go. Keep this clean. Oh, hey! You didn't need that hat, right? Is there still a chance to get tires from this? Probably not. Hey, you tricked our junk turret. Come over here again. If you want to talk, I'm right here. Come on. That happens when you're stupid. <laughs> okay, first thing I see is this. There is a lead here. What else is here? A taxi. Hmm. Let's have a quick look around. Some flowers. There's more lead. That's good. We're gonna get rid of all these trees eventually. Oh yes, we are going to. Because you want to see them coming, right? When it's hot night, we want to see them coming. I'm not going to pick that up. We are past feathers, and I don't need any eggs. They also don't sell for much, so it's, it's really not worth it. Hmm. Oh, there's a tree trunk. If we're ever in need of honey, that's where we're not getting it. You know? <laughs> we had that last time. Uh, coal. Man, last multiplayer and single player. We were looking for coal like crazy, and this is just here. Just outside the base area place thing. That's cool. What else? 
I shouldn't run around that much. Oh, there's the military guy. Hello! Wow, look at all the flowers here. We can definitely start a garden with what we have in, in mums here. Hmm. Don't see any more resources. I think we're gonna take over one of those houses. That's the one we already looted right there with the shady shed. And there's one next to it. I know that that one has an underground... Um, it's not a bunker, it's just a cellar, really. That might be nice to set up there. There's a workstation in there already, a workbench, which I think is a destroyed one. There's iron, lovely. There's nitrate. Uh, yeah, we have everything. That's all we need. All four resources right here. We also have a mod that gives us brass from iron. Now, if you've watched the multiplayer series, our first season, you know that the mod is set up to give you the same amount of brass you mine in iron. So if you get 100 iron, you get 100 brass, which is a little OP. So I've modified that, I think, down by 75%. So every 100 iron should give you 25 brass. Otherwise, you just have a chest full of brass, which sells for a decent amount. So you're basically making infinite money. I don't like that. It's, that's too cheaty. I mean, it's modded, not cheaty, right? Okay. Okay, well, that's that's figured out. That's lovely. Now, we need to figure out where our base exactly is going to be. And obviously, I have a blueprint in mind. I already know the floor plan of what it's going to be. I just need to figure out where to put it. And I think we're going to use this junction as um, the corners or two of the sides of the base. So, one side will come down here, and then the other one will go that way. Right there. So, this is probably going to be... Right here is where the corner is. Ugh, that means I have to dig this up eventually. Oh yeah, it's going to take a while. What are we getting stone through that? Which we need. We need to make cobblestone and such, right? We want flagstone blocks and everything. So, for now, I think we're going to grab some of these frames. And we're going to go... Actually, we're going to go one in. Because we're going to go down, which means we're going to have a block down here, which means this is going to be kind of sloping in towards the block. And then we can put a metal plate on here and paint that later. I don't want that to be on, on the road. That just looks weird. So we're going to go in one block. And then we're just going to lay these out. And see where the, where the corner comes to. That's that. And the same over here. One in. Just right there. Let me just go and see what happens. Lovely, that's the corner block. So this is going to be a 17 by 17. If I counted that correctly, I'm pretty sure I did. So let's see how many blocks we have here. It's one, two, three, four, five. Up until there. Right? And up until here. We just need to connect that, and that is going to be the outer edge of the base. And I'm surprised that I haven't hit a dead bush, or a flower, or a stone yet. That would have made it impossible to place a block without punching something. Oh yeah, that's interesting. That's, that's a good deal of asphalt I have to dig up. Oh, that's gonna be so much fun. I mean, this is just dirt. You take a shovel and you're going. 250 hit points. This right here? Whew. That also means we're not going to make any use of that. We're going to get it while digging, but that's pretty much it. So we want another lead node somewhere. What are you doing over there, actually? Come here. I'm going to put you... Right here, because we're gonna be in here mostly, and whenever something jumps in here, Junkie will take care of it. Lovely. Okay, so that's that's the perimeter. Now, where where is the center? That is a, one of the bigger questions in life. 
I think this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That should be the center. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Math with Crypto. Yeah, that's the center right here. This is where we're going to put our new land claim block, which we can't make because we don't have any of the ingredients. How much stone? Five. Ooh. Well, might as well start digging. Get a better pick. Oh, wow, well, that's just dirt under there. That's perfect. So it's just the upper layer. Whew. Had me worried there for a second. I mean, it would have made for some marvelous stability, but that's pretty much all it would have done. Uh, scrap you. Get all that crap out of here. Also, I brought the nerdy glasses for the XP gain 10%. I mean, when you're building stuff, you're gaining a lot of XP. Hello. Bye. Stupid. <laughs> okay. That happened. It's taking so long. It's just a land claim block. And you're gonna go right here. So why have I put it where I put it? Well, you can already see this extends over to... Uh, pretty much two blocks off on the other side of the road. And guess what? It's the same over here. Unfortunately, land claim blocks are a little bit asymmetrical because you need an, an odd number, and I think that's an even number of 42 blocks. Jeez. Meat everywhere. So, yeah, we're not going to use the full thing. Uh, it's going to be 41 by 41 eventually. This is going to be our base, and then we are going to have a perimeter of swords on the side. It's going to be the same size. It's going to be a wall here, 17 wide, using the slippery slope technique. You all know what that is, right? If you don't, you haven't watched my first season. I'm sorry, you're going to just have to be surprised if you don't know what it is. Uh, but we're going to have that here so that zombies pass find around, and then we only need uh, defenses in form of uh, SMG turrets, for example, on the corners, because they're not going to come from there where the walls are. They're just going to come in on the corners here, on the actual edges of the base, and that's four turrets, instead of three times four turrets to, you know, cover all the sides. Really? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, don't need a scope. I'm fine. Thank you very much. Iron size is actually working quite, quite beautifully for me. It's all good. Huh. Alright, so that's this, then there's gonna be an outer perimeter there. Uh, we're gonna put some, some lights in the corners over there, on each side of the road. We're gonna put some lights over there, and over there, and over there, so we can actually see the horde coming. Yup. That is the thing I have learned. If you don't have lights, you're pretty much screwed when the horde is coming because you have no idea what's going on. So for now, since it's 9am, I think we should go over there, have a look at those two PUIs, and decide which one we're going to take over, because that seems to be the closest building to this construction site and I can't very well I could have all the workstations right here that would actually be quite interesting <laughs> I mean I could do that but you know we're out in the open here we can get attacked from all the sides and just being over there and crafting some stuff at night and having an actual place for storage I think is an advisable thing to do so first thing we're gonna do is wrench down this guy because nobody needs it um, just in case. Nah, don't. Also, that sounded like stone. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Freaking car. I just lost two wooden frame blocks. Oh, I'm never gonna get those back. Pity. Nothing I can do. You were saying? That's no way 
to touch a piece of rock. Rocks have feelings too, you know? Teabagging. Okay. Let's do this one. Hey, you were here the last time. I remember you. Why am I still on this ladder? I can't get off this ladder, it seems. Huh? That's weird. Never mind. I forgot to loot that working stiff chest last time. I remember that. This one is destroyed. This is empty. Yes, we did that. Is anybody hanging out over here? Sometimes they are right in that corner. Okay. Guess not. Well, let's have a look at you. Oh, an auger would have been nice now. Ah well. And yes, I haven't touched any of the garbage in here. I know we just went through here relatively quickly. Um, we can set up shop in here. That should be fairly easy. Let's put on a land claim block and be done. Yes, I know we just did a land claim block, but you know. We're gonna have to do one here, there's not any way around it if you want this uh, zombie free while we're building the base which is on the other side. Over there somewhere. Yep, right there's the crossing. Alright, that is the thing we can do. Uh, as we've just discovered on stream, mm -hmm, we could just take over this. There's a working workbench right here, which is lovely. It has a door, which is good. This can be taken out, that can be taken out, that as well. This also, we have a three white space here for a chemistry station. Uh, we can put a forge there, we can put the cement mixer there, have storage like over here and on the top there and something. And this could just be our little crafting shed where we go, drop off stuff, things like that. That could be a thing. It's not very safe, <laughs> to say the least. I mean, ha. Huh. That's unupgraded wood, but that is easy to upgrade though, right? It's, it's not even four blocks, it's just it's just plates. Or sheets, or whatever they call that. Depends on what, what uh, type of material it is, actually. But we could use that. As long as it's just for having somewhere to stay, that should be good. Should probably poke a window in here somewhere. Like that. Maybe that. Uh, windows everywhere! That's good. And then we can see out, provided we, you know, get rid of that stuff. But we can see out, we can see what's coming, what's happening. We have light in here already, full free. I like that idea. Uh, let's actually do that. Let's take our shovel. Make a diggy hole. There you go. Shovel away. Nice claim lock. And yes, we activate that so we actually know where we are. And this should incorporate at least this house. So nothing will spawn in here ruin our day. And if stuff spawns over there, that's fine. It's far enough away so that we shouldn't be worried much. Oh, that's cool. We can totally do that. We do need to upgrade though. Pretty severely. Did not bring any cobblestone. I just brought the flagstone blocks. Now what I'm interested in... Yeah, we can't place anything here. This this block, this sheet, claims that block space, the whole thing. Hmm. Well, if it was an inside block, then we, there wouldn't be a workstation here and such. So yeah, okay, that's okay. That's pretty much what I expected. Cool. So, we know where to stay now. It's a bit of a downgrade compared to where we are right now in our little trailer, but there's nothing close by. And I don't intend on building um, a base in between bases. Yeah, this is not Hermitcraft. Mm -mm, we're not doing that. So that's where we're gonna be. So now we just need to make sure we have the storage that we need. It's gonna go up there. Uh, let's make some room. Always keep your door closed. 
Jeez. It's like, did I hit myself? Turn around and look at that face. Whew. Hello, man. Work in peace. The hell are you doing? You leave home for a second. And you get weird mama showing up. Oh, thanks for the ammo. I'm taking that. I'm also taking that. Mm -hmm. Only got one. Anyway, we're back here. Our land claim block is obviously broken. Where did I put that even? Right here. You, I need to pick up. And we're gonna grab... All of that, except for some stuff, which is actually stuff we need. Oh, we do have more than 20 oil. That's interesting. That's pretty much exactly what I need. You can stay here. You I can dig up. I take all the stone because that's actually a decent amount. And you stay here for now. We're going to grab the stuff later. Oh, I also need that. Ugh. That's one, two, three pieces of a pick up the campfire. I can make a new campfire, but eh, it's resources. Okay, so what else can I leave here? We do need the nails. I don't need the headlights right now. I don't need that one corn, even though it doesn't belong in that chest. Uh, which means I can take this with me, and then we just make a new campfire once we're there. Or I just load that all up into the mini bike, And then I can take even more. What am I even worrying about? Scripta, what are you doing? There you go. Oh, now I can't pick it up anymore because the land claim block isn't active. Sure, can live with that. Um, well, in that case, I'm going to take all of that as well. And I should take definitely some of this. I have all the meat I currently have cooked in my inventory, so I'm going to take this so we can make more. I'm going to take these, yes, and I'm going to take these, and the rest we can grab a later. Should be good. Uh, making glue, making duct tape, we also need that. That should be fine for now, I'm going to close the door. Stuff can now again spawn inside. Next time we come back we will have a nice surprise waiting for us in the form of a Big Mama having already cooked a dinner, probably. Hey you! Back to base! Oh! <laughs> we have returned! So has the bear! I didn't even see that guy! Jeez! You just want to start a little clip for your recording and then... That! Okay. Well... <laughs> We're back here. I didn't even bring the knife. I brought all kinds of things, but definitely not the knife. So we started upgrading this, as this can be upgraded to iron sheets. We mined some iron. Definitely not enough, as you can see. Mm, it's a bit of a thing. Also, the storage chests in here, it's a bit of a situation. Being able to place those is weird. Like, they won't go up there. They will go here, no problem, and in the middle there. Same there, but not on the corners, so that seems to be a downside block, filling up that block space. Um, I can put one here, and I probably can put one there. These areas are unused. We will have the forge, we will have the cement mixer, and we will have, eventually, the chemistry station here, and then this thing is uh, full. For now, let's just do... That's a perfect place for a campfire, right? Right on top there? Yeah. Probably. So let's do that for now. Campfire. Can we make one? Small stone, which is what I don't have because it's in a ye bike. Gimme. Close this. Paranoid now. See, it's burning already. Isn't that lovely? Um, you need that and one of these. And actually, I can put one of you in there too. That's perfect. 
All right, that up there is our collect all the things chest for now. So I'm just gonna do this. And yes, I have to go through here and sort stuff, and I will do so overnight, probably. I mean, it is already nighttime. That's a bit of a thing. We haven't really done that much. But we've relocated. Whoever that is running around there. So, I think I'm going to do some more digging for iron. We're going to do some more upgrading over here. And then we're going to get into uh, the forge. Can we make that already? Do I have the materials required? Do we have the technology? Not on me. Of course not. I'm pretty sure I didn't bring any clay. So the four is all we have. We should probably do something about that. Where's my shovel? Right there. Uh, I mean, clay is all around here. Might as well. That's sand. So much for clay is all around here. Let's, let's do clay right here. Well, that goes fast. And no, I'm not digging the moat around this chest. Chest? Chest? Shed. Not digging the moat around this shed. It's not gonna happen. Mm -mm. Don't even try to persuade me. It's not gonna be a thing. I should also place this back down. <laughs> it's definitely a thing. Uh, well, for now. You know, screw for now. Let's just put it there. Can I stand on something? Why can I not place it there? Okay, I'm gonna place it there. Screw you. He's taking care of things. Lovely. What else are you missing? Miss me thing, missing stone, leather, duct tape, iron pipes. That. Uh, duct tape? Really? How come we don't have duct tape in here? Or am I just too blind? Probably still in the bike. Good guess. Still missing stone, apparently. I think that's fixed now. Yes, make one. Thank you. Very good. So, for the cement mixer, uh, we do need forged iron, of which we have one, so that's not going to work. We're also missing a spring, so we still need to scrap down some cars. Uh, iron I can get from the workbench inside the house. We're going to go over there in a second. And we do have uh, the rest. That's not a big deal. Oh, it was the wrong button. I hate myself. Forge. Lovely. Okay, let's uh, make our way back inside uh, there. I should also just take this. It's free wood after all. And having a way inside is also quite nice, so we're gonna make our own. Uh oh. Head. <laughs> Give me it out. Freaking leather. Okay, we're here. Let's take this apart then. You do get scavenger up to really get good stuff out of you know wrenching all the things. But hey, that's uh, ten. Ready smelted iron ingots. I'm not gonna complain about that. And we also got some some of that, which we can use pretty much immediately. Ugh, let me probably get the gun out, and I need to repair that thing. Shed is over here. 
Yes. Kinda. Sorta. Now we're totally working through the night, which is not dangerous at all. Why would it be? Right? 170 iron gone. Like that. Whew. Where's the military guy that's protecting me? Still scared. Alright, that's looking pretty snazzy, I think. <laughs> so I'll upgrade to iron. It looks a bit weird. Probably need to find a, a paint brush and just paint that stuff. But yeah, it's all iron. We still had iron in storage. That made it pretty easy, actually. Uh, obviously, zombies can hit through here and probably hit all the tools. But then again, we can shoot through here. So that should, you know, even itself out a little bit. Uh, this thing is going. Smelting down all the iron, smelting down all the clay. So we can make that. That would be pretty good. We're still on the stock recipe, though. That hurts a little bit. Land claim block is down. That thing was already here. It's working. Since we haven't placed that, we can't unfortunately pick it up. Otherwise, that would be really cool. It's just a free workbench. So next thing will be getting the cement mixer going as soon as we can. 25 forged iron. We still need one spring. We have the engine. We have the mechanical parts. Uh, military guy over there is still going around. Right there. Mm, he's patrolling the area. Neighborhood uh, duty, safety, COVID-19 uh, exception squad, something like that. He, he's making sure that the zombies are doing social distancing because, obviously, they don't have bigger problems already. It's fine. It's all good. The bear finally despawned. That's good. We need to cook up some stuff because we're running low on meat. I actually probably want to eat some because I can. Also really low on stamina, so eating stuff is good. And uh, now I'm actually going to swing my behind on uh, this mini bike, which still has some gasoline left. Going to go one more time back to our old base, grab all the old stuff, bring it over here, and then I meet you guys in <laughs> an hour, because that's when it's morning. See you next time. Bye-bye.